Previously on Lara Croft and uh, I know everything, let me impart my fucking wisdom. Ah, Colonel, come in. This man's driving me completely fucking insane. Ah, yes, Lara. I appear to have forgotten what country I am from, but it is somewhere in Europe. Every accent in Europe sounds exactly the same. Did you know that, Lara? But then, behold, a boss so long, so terrifying. So fucking hard to utilize. So lacking in instructions. Yeah! Uh, just moving on. And then there was some sort of race, but it was fixed. And at the end of that race, a terrible fate befell one of our two heroes. The horror was too real. Werner too afraid to lose his trousers in front of his apprentice, Miss Laura Croft. In fear, he may be dubbed a pedophile. Huh, don't worry, I'll be back. With a rope. And I suppose that brings us up to date. Okay, slight note to self. Uh, when doing multiple voices, stick to one and only do one. And then do the other. Don't try and do them all at once. Doesn't work. That's Laura, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Whoa, boobs, yeah, definitely Laura. Uh-oh. Well, she's quick to let that go, I guess. I'm not sure that's what scorpions do, but you know, whatever. Uh oh. Looks like the fun's not going to stop here. Oh jeez. Alright then, welcome back to Egypt, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I'm assuming Laura felt she didn't get a fair enough cut of the Pharaoh's gold following the events of the first game and thus decided to return here and lose a little bit more. I mean, I can really feel for her. It's not like she doesn't have much money or anything, you know. Uh, it looks like we have a friend who can't light a... Oh, there we go. I thought that was a glitch. Oh, Jesus Christ, his eyes. Yeah, I thought that was a glitch then. But uh, he did genuinely fail to light the torch, shall we say. So, I'm guessing this right here is set in modern day. Um, though, what? is this? Where is this coming from? Huh. Hmm. I will explain that in just a moment. And what was that we just picked up? I should probably have a look. I think it was flares. It was flares. 15. We have flares now. Great. Um, but, um, yes. Welcome back. It's been a while. It has been a while, it's been a good two months, and uh, yeah, I can't apologize enough for that, but a lot of things happened, and at the end of the day, I felt I was kicking back into Let's Playing a little bit too early, in comparison to kind of like, well, I feel like if I would have left it a little bit longer, maybe I would have been a bit more comfortable with it, maybe things would have came out better, not implying that um, I feel that the last part was a mess or anything, 
just that um, it was a little bit hard to pull off and I wasn't feeling my best and all that and I thought I'd be able to climb this but it doesn't look like that's possible bizarre it does look very climbable where does it lead to? nowhere probably hmm. looks like it but yes oh my gosh well she's certainly gone back to her old proportions hasn't she? Jesus she looks very angry very angry uh, but, but I'd say it's kind of fitting of the voice that she has in the second and third game. The voice actor gave her anyway. She always seems very pissed off, in my opinion. But oh, she has a, she has a really she still has a really oh she still has exactly the same sound files for jumping and grabbing and stuff as she did when she was younger. It's a bit odd, but yeah, her voice sounds sort of high pitched, doesn't it, in comparison to usual? But yeah, I am. Um, I am shocked as all hell when it comes to the amount of attention this Let's Play has received so far. I cannot thank you enough. Like, exceeded my expectations once again, as it did in Tomb Raider 1, as it did in Tomb Raider 2, as it certainly did in Tomb Raider 3, and I think I've got like nearly four times more views, four times more likes, comments, etc. And generally just a hell of a lot of attention. I think I might light up a flare and just have a look up this dark corner over here. So that's just F. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. Um, but I don't think there's anything round here really, aside from what we've already found. It is genuinely quite dark though. What's with this grid? Like, it doesn't seem like something we would fall into that has been unexplored for years and years, but then what kind of uh, scenario would something that's been unexplored for years and years have this kind of thing on the floor? Um, I mean, what is that? Shock. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Ammo? Oh shit, don't throw the flare down, you idiot. Well, it looked like it was going to go out anyway, but choose ammo? Wide shot ammo? Normal ammo? I don't have any. Right, okay, I don't have any of the wide shot. Got it. And we have a pistols now. I didn't notice. Cool. So I'm gonna equip the pistols, but I'll put them away. They are very noisy. Um, we have a lot of flares as well. That's great. We have binoculars though. What the flying fuck? That's awesome. I like this. I mean, it feels like Laura didn't have this kind of first person feature. Though it would have been nice if I could have had this assigned to a hotkey instead of um, having to go into my inventory to use them. How do I get out of this mode as well? That would be... Wait, what? So that's some kind of like... Oh, that's good! That's good! That's great! I think that's night vision! Uh, when since did binoculars have night vision? Or something like that, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How do I get out of this mode? Um... That is a good question. Let's press R. There we go. That probably works. Yes. Great. Um... In your comments. In your comments, guys. Had a lot of hints. Thank you very much. Of course, I mentioned a few towards the end of the last part, but I've also changed the targeting to automatic. I received like a torrent of comments about how I should turn it to automatic mode because apparently manual, she doesn't actually aim at anything. So I don't know how the hell you're supposed to play like that. So automatic it is. Also, um, volumetric FX is now on. And that's why that weird beam of light that was back there was there. Uh, not sure how to feel about that, but I had a run through the first and second level with volumetric FX on, and it made all the difference. It looks a lot nicer, you know, like, little effects, mist and fog and all this, and it was really pretty. Uh, what is he doing? Can I, can I take this torch? Is that why he's standing there? Um, maybe not. No, I don't really like it, and that looks a bit dodgy. Let's never do that again. Right, uh, so... This looks very unsteady. That's why I'm walking here. Like, what? It looks like we could potentially have a nasty fall down there, but, um... I don't know. It, it, maybe it is safe. I'm still waiting our first enemy. There is something down there, but I did see something shining just up this way, so I think I'm going to head up and have a look. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for all the comments. They have been ever so helpful in different ways. And um, you're doing great with not giving me any spoilers or anything like that. No one so far has done anything in that nature, you know. So thank you very much for that. Had a little bit of a problem with Code Veronica Resident Evil. Where, oh, that is a scorpion. I probably don't want to uh, get poked by that or whatever. Let's, um... Can I shoot it? How do I shoot it? Mm, that works. I was worried about shooting the guy as the problem. Uh, another note, a lot of you guys are suggesting I change back to controller and get X-Paddle working and all this. I'm sticking to keyboard. I'm pretty content with how things have been so far. I know I'm a little bit slow and a little bit rusty on it, but um, it's fine. I'll get used to it. I've done it on so many get. I say as I like bugger up the controls. I've done it on so many games before this, I can do it on this, I'm pretty much certain. I know I've spent years learning the controls on controller, but it's just mapping it all in my head. Because I'm fairly used to using um, a keyboard and mouse for things now. So, should be okay. Should be okay. Right. I'm liking... I've got to say, like... Oh, shit! No, you don't, you little bastard. Um... Oh! I'm liking, um... Where's he going? There he is. I'm liking the uh, landscaping in this. I mean, I'm so used to Tomb Raider just being all flat and boring, and this is quite interesting. I mean, look at this. It's so sloped and all over the fucking place. It feels like core. Oh. It feels like core design have um, put that little bit of extra effort into this over the top of Tomb Raider 3. Where, where they didn't in Tomb Raider 2 and 1 and all that, you know, and. What's going on here? That's the fog that I was talking about, that right there. Though it is glitching out a bit, but you can expect it because it's an old game. I was told by Sardoc actually, who much I need to offer a lot of thanks to, should I mention. Um, mm, 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 what's that? What the flying fuck is that? How does that make any sense? Is that some kind of sphinx dog or something? Um, no, that's put- okay, okay, okay. There we go. Sorry. I was saying about the controls, I'll get used to them. What the flying fuck is that? Egyptian dog? Sphinx dog. Um, I never bothered checking, what's the level? The Tomb of Seth. Yeah, need to thank Sardot because I made so many errors. This is actually a new save. Entirely. Like, you'll see that. Um, see, only 20 minutes to get to the uh, this level, actually. Um... Reason for that is I accidentally deleted Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, along with its save files when I had to un uninstall Steam for some reason. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't have cloud saving or anything like that. I kind of expected games to all have it, but I didn't realise some don't. Is there anything down there? I don't know how safe I feel about just jumping down, but yeah, of course, there's a fucking scorpion there, isn't there? No, you don't. They die pretty quickly, don't they? Alright, let's get out of here anyway. Whoop. Okay, that's not happening. Okay, I'm gonna do that a lot, aren't I now? <sighs> I'll get used to it. Promise. I promise. So yeah, thank you very much for Sword. Uh, thank you very much for Sword. Yeah, Lord, thank you very much for Sardok. But otherwise, thank you to Sardok for... ...sorting all that out for me. And, um... Yeah, I can't, I can't remember specifically what I was going to say before, though. That's great, isn't it? But, um, Volumetric FX is all on. And he he did mention that the waterfall from the previous level was... Uh, well, actually, it's the first level. Was going way faster than it should have been. Like, the water texture was moving too fast or something like that. So, um, he's looking into a way to fix that for us, but otherwise it's kind of ignorable, I guess. Like, we only saw it once, I think. I'm pretty sure I can get up there. Is it a slide, though? Yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. So I think we come down there at some point. Back down there, if you get what I mean. How is this guy not creeped out by everything that's going on here? And I think we can get up here. Let's give it a go, shall we? So... Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to jump the other way, but never mind. Um, yes. Ah, this is a secret? <sighs> Bloody hell. That is a secret, 9 of 70. 
surprising. Uh, I'm glad Laura drew her angry eyebrows on before she came out to this adventure. It's quite fitting. Uh, so, we had a loop back that way. I think I'm going to run around the opposite way and just see if we missed anything. I am noticing a few things are like bugging out and coming onto the screen every so often. What's going on there? Can we run up? That looks like the perfect place for a boulder to come down and crush me. I am surprised at the lack of um, death traps there's been so far in this game. In other news, um, one of you guys asked me to play this game in 60 FPS. That's physically um, impossible. And I asked um, if you could potentially provide me with a way to do that. And I haven't had a response yet. I'm so disappointed. I want to play this game in 60 FPS, even though I don't think that's physically possible. What's that? Jesus Christ, this fo fog is thick. That's what I was going to say. Sardok told me that the fog was supposed to be brown, not blue. But the um, the developers fucked it up or something like that. But I, I don't know. If you wouldn't have mentioned that, I wouldn't have been able to tell, I suppose. So we're getting a lot of supplies here. I'm quite surprised. Um, yeah, we, we came from this direction, didn't we, actually? So... Oh, yeah, but we went down the other route. So many spider webs creeping me out a bit. Uh, you spider lovers in the audience. I'm sure you're just ec ecstatic to see this. I'm getting, having trouble getting words out today. It's one of those days. Right. So, um... I guess we'll have a wander down this hole here. Uh, I, I miss Werner's tutorials. Why isn't this guy giving me a tutorial every five seconds? Like he was. Disappointed. Say the very least. Right. So I need to remember what roll is, because that's very important. This is going to shut on me, isn't it? Oh, he's here. I thought he was back there. Am I imagining things? Hmm. I swear I saw him just stood up there. I must be going mad. Right. So, this room. Right, that's shut, so we can't go back now. Uh, there's another scorpion. He is not phased by it. Well, there is one behind me as well. Woohoo. So roll, shoot, shoot the other one. Thank you, automatic. Oh, that don't want to shoot him. Apparently I can't anyway, so that's good. That's great. Don't want that to happen. Um, very, very dark down here, though. I don't, I don't see any items on the floor or anything like that. Is there any way we can climb up here at all? Um... Completely forgot to mention thinking about it, but I have changed around a few of the controls, so that's why I'm actually struggling. It's not because I ha aren't used to it. Um, now, instead of having the um, action button, and I believe the walk button to be control and shift, I now have them as Q and E, because I realised that by holding the walk button, like this, and then holding left or right, I can just do the sidestep anyway, and that's what I originally had Q and E fixed to. Right, so, um, th that needs to be rolled up somehow. And these things in the walls, they look suspiciously like... <gasps> ah, wait, what? Okay, so she puts her hand into them and pulls out things. Interesting, that's a new mechanic. So I can do that every single one, I'm guessing. Uh, filling that room up with sand. <gasps> Is there a way to drain it, though? Um, am I supposed to do something? I'm half expecting, like, the sand to just flow in here and murder us both. That would be unpleasant. Uh... Maybe I should have gone in there first. Like, I'm a little bit worried now. Like, maybe... You know, there was a time limit on it, and, uh... No. Maybe not. Mm, there was an item I saw. Where's that gone? Yeah, I'm half expecting that it kind of flooded under there. I hope it hasn't, but it's a possibility. Maybe that's what I saw, the medipack over there. I don't know. But now, quicksand, maybe. <laughs> uh, we don't like quicksand. All those experiences, positive experience may I add, from Tomb Raider 3. And quicksand made me love it. Well, this looks nice. Okay. Yeah, this might be a bit of a problem. 
Oh, we're sinking. Shit, don't die, please. Please don't die. Yes, so we're gonna do a running jump here and try to not- oh, okay, solid. That's how all sand should be, in my opinion. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce things. Right, let's take this. Ah, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, medipack on this one, but do I want to take this? I mean, I don't know. I was kind of expecting that one to activate some kind of trap, but it didn't. That's the good news. Um, so, th the sand is continuing to flow through, and um, it's not filling up anymore for some reason. That makes no sense at all. Maybe it just drains out at a certain point. <laughs> That's all I can assume. You know, at a certain level. Right. What is going on? I'm sorry, I can hear so many toilet flushes going on in my house. Someone got diarrhea or something. Uh, right. So, through there, I'm assuming. Uh, I am ever more curious about this, why I can't reach into this one, but the other two I could have. And also wondering what the hell Laura did back there that I can't see that caused the this must have been some kind of lever or something, who knows. Right. So, next room. Should probably get my guns out. Mmm. Nothing too threatening here. There's a little podium. Oh, hi. A rope. Well, I know how to use you guys now, so I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. So, uh, let's climb up here. Why am I go? why am I doing this? I could have just walked up and vaulted up onto it. Uh, right. So I'm assuming I need to use this to get across to there. The guy, I saw him walk down this way. I'm trying to do Luke and I'm pressing the wrong button entirely. Why am I pressing that button to Luke? I have no idea. Maybe it's another game or something that I normally do that on. But what's this? Uh, don't I have that symbol? Like, I'm pretty certain I did just pick that up. Eyepiece. Oh, it's a piece of it, right. So we need the other piece to get through, maybe. Who knows? Right, um... Whoa, I didn't expect it to just pop up there. So, that's now that. So I could have... Yeah, there we go. And... Now. We jump onto this, and I press... Sprint. Sprint, that's it. I don't even need to press any more buttons, I think. She just does it automatically if you hold down Sprint. So how the flying fuck do I get over there? That seems a little bit far, really. I could try. Ooh, that's a lot of life right there that I just took off her. Sorry, Laura, I took a huge chunk out of you. Uh, I could try again. Hmm. Let's give it a go. If I murder Laura, then I murder Laura, I guess. Here goes. Uh, maybe if I go higher. Maybe if I... No, don't think that'll work out very well, thinking about it. Go back, go right the way to the bottom. That's the better option, thinking about it, because she needs to be right at the bottom in order to catch on to that edge over there. But still, it seems like a huge drop to nothing, I guess. Uh, can she jump from it? Oh, she can, right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I didn't know that. I tried it. It works, and I got a secret. Great. But where is the secret? I don't see one. Uh, up there. One can only assume. Uh, what was that? That's gonna come back round, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, well, this looks pleasant. Some ghostly thing- no. <sighs> Stop doing that. Yeah, some ghostly pinwheel is trying to murder me, I guess. Uh, how do I crouch? I would like to crouch. Let's wait for it to come back. Um, I think I'm pretty safe to just stand here thinking about it. How... how do I... where do I go from here? Uh, that thing could give you a pretty fancy haircut, I believe. Because I, I don't actually see anywhere I can go. Maybe directly ahead, there? I'm not certain about that. Can I climb up here? No. Um... I really don't know how to get up there. Hmm. 
I think I'm just gonna have to have a run at it. If I try just jumping over here. And then into there, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, has it gone round? I didn't see it go. There it is, right. So, up here. Small medikit. Great. Can I grab that? Thank you. Um, where is it now? Well, it kind of lost it. There it is, right. So I'm safe here again. And I think I'm fairly safe here as well. I believe I am anyway. Oh no, it's kind of cutting close to the wall. Uh, whoops. Wow. Laura's actually survived. Uh, she won't survive this though. Shit. I tried. I failed. And I didn't save, did I? I should have done that before doing all this, but oh well. That's fine. We didn't save that far back. Let's go back to where we were. Oh. Whoa, we did save quite far back. Whoops. Right, so we can check in this one. There's a large medikit, but we cannot check in the other one. We need to go down there first, don't we? And let's have a look over here before we actually fill it up. I don't think there's anything down here, to be honest, but still, there could well be, I suppose. Oh, there is stuff down there. Right, so, you know where our next adventure is. We're going to go have a look. So I'm going to save right here for this. And then, we need to have some way to get back up, I assume, but... Hmm. Oh, fuck it. Just go for it. So, medipack right here. Anything else? Uh, can we get back up here? Yeah, we can. Right. Great. So, no. That's not what I want you to do. I keep pressing that button to loop for some reason. That's okay. It's all perfectly solid. And that's a secret. So, there we go. I was right. Uh, but there's also a scorpion somewhere there. Two scorpions. Great. Even better. Let's have a party. So, we're back here again. With our best friend, the rolling invisible pinwheel thing. I don't even bloody know what it is. Right, so I want to get off that platform as quickly as possible. I've got to say the worst thing about this bloody thing is how quiet it is. No, I'm not going to make that on time. I'm taking my time there, aren't I? I'm taking my sweet time. Uh, and I'm guessing I want to... Oh, you bastard. How did you even injure me there? Like, I wasn't even touching you. I think it selectively damages you or something like that. Like the blades will just stretch out a little bit or something, you know. Right. Uh, Laura. Why won't she climb up there? Is it like... Oh. Maybe I'm a bit too close to the wall? I don't know. I'm not even going to question Laura's logic. Right, here goes. Uh, so. Now. I want to... Oh, okay. Um, running jump. Grab. Stay there. Right. Perfect. 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 That was good timing because I just saw it like glo go over me the moment I did that. Um, now, I think I'm pretty safe up here actually. I mean, I'm not going to tempt fate, but I think I am. Maybe not there. Maybe not there. Let's see. Um, right. Yep. Okay. No. Perfectly safe. I mean, it is some distance away. So let's grab these. Yeah, why is it so quiet? It's creepy. It's fucking creepy. Right, so let's have a walk down. Let's look over this edge. Um. Um. I'm guessing we want to drop down here. <laughs> fall into this gap. And then where from here? Let's wait up a moment. I think maybe we've got to jump over to there. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. Certainly does. Let's move back. Right, let's go. Ooh. Okay, that may have injured her a bit, but we're alright. And then, where? Okay, 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 okay. There's no need for that. Um... Roll. Got you. They have exactly the same fucking sound as those bastarding wolves from the first game. Oh, there's more, there's more. Two more. 
Well, that's fucking fair. Jeez, any more? You're just gonna send them at me? Continuously, forever? I guess not. I was just trying to have a look down there, if you don't mind. Uh... Yeah, you're not gonna come that far over, are you? Right, so this is where I couldn't get up to. Got it. Got it. It's fine. It's good. I should save. Definitely save. Um... I feel like I'm saving a bit too much, but... Eh, it should be alright. So, what's this? There's a little grid in the way. Do I trust this grid? Probably not. Uh... Let's have a quick jump over it. Mmm. It's safe. So... Where now? Like, we're just gonna end up sliding down here by the looks of it. Yeah, and I can't see what's on the other side, so that's good. Grab. Oh, yeah, don't wanna go there. Do I have a choice? I don't have a choice, and they're, like, bloody just waiting there for me, aren't they? That's pleasant. Uh, right. So, plan of action. Plan of action. Why are you doing this to me? It's not very nice. Plan of action? Uh, how far down is that? That's quite far down, so there's no way I could jump straight out of it if I, like, scrolled up the other side, is there? Uh... Oh, oh, she can go around corners. I forgot. <gasps> Fucking hell. No, no, no. That's another thing you guys taught me. She can now go around corners. Ugh. Oh, God. Well, I don't need to deal with these then, you little bastards. So, what's this? Um, an Uzi, is it? Oh, it is. Oh. I am truly blessed. Uzi ammo. Fantastic. Right. Okay, uh, let's head down here, I guess. Uh, anywhere else I can go? No. So where the hell am I now? Have I gone down to the sand room? I think I have, haven't I? Yeah. And I can hear them like they're right next to me. Will you shut up? I probably should have killed them. So, back to this room. Great. That's all good. So we can't go through there still. We need the eye. Uh, save the get. No, let's not bother saving the game. We're saving too much. Down here, I guess. Now that we uh, have been down. What the flying fuck was that? <laughs> that looks pleasant. Do you want to go get that? Um, you're more than welcome to. I'll, I'll just wait here. You know, we're, we're like partners in this. I've done everything so far. You do that. It's all good, isn't it? Why is it my inventory now blue? Uh, I'm not going to question it. Right, um... No, you're going to have me do that, aren't you? So, I can see little gaps on the floor. I think they have something to do with the little gaps. Let's try standing on this, for example. That seems good. So far. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, now where's the last one? The last one's on the right hand side, so let's go to the left. And then, any on the last panel? No, it's safe. Okay. I'll take that, thank you. Um, now we need to leave. Just jump like crazy. What, 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 what do these do if they do get set off? They, they're terrifying. That's for certain, but I don't know what they do. Right, so we run down here, we run around here, we... Oh, I probably... If that was any other Tomb Raider, I probably would have died there for some reason. Like, had a heart attack due to touching those razor blades. But th that's good that it's changed now, I guess. Uh... Huh? I have the items. Do I need to do something with them? Uh, right, we're game Resident Evil with the game. Why not? Let's combine them together. There we go. In you go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, crazy, what the hell? I'm not playing Tomb Raider anymore, what the hell is this game? Oh, 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 oh. Doggy. Oh, he actually attacks them with a torch, why not? Oh, and he lets them run past him sometimes as well. If you poke it with a torch, would it set on fire? I'd hope it would, because I don't like those bastling things. At least they don't make chainsaw sounds, I guess. Right, uh, oh, excuse me. So, anything interesting? I don't believe so. Let's keep moving. Ooh. 
Where's he off to? I'm assuming we found something interesting. I thought we went to run off to an attack an enemy or something like that. Oh, big room, big room. Big open space. Huh. This looks suspiciously like the, uh... Oh, come on. What the hell's with this volumetric FX? Can you see that in the distance there? The blue fog kind of appearing and disappearing when I turn slightly. I mean, it's good from what I've seen so far, but sometimes it'll do that kind of thing, and it makes me lose faith in it. Uh, this reminds me heavily of the area of the first game where... I can't remember what the level's called specifically, but the one with the huge, like, statue in the middle of it, like this, you know. Uh, what's that down there? I'm gonna go have a look at you. Oh. Oh, what? What the flying fuck is that? Ooh, we're in this room. I don't like this. It's, it's, why is, how, why, what? That's not how water works, I'm afraid. You don't touch something and it turns to lava. Okay. Uh, can't see what's down there. Either way, I am not going in that room just yet because he is in there. That is obviously an indicator that I should be elsewhere. So, where can I go? I can go onto that platform, but it looks like an obvious trap which is gonna fall and make me land on that. But there is a medikit here. I'll have that. Thank you. Whoop. Try again. Mm, thus far, <sighs> I'm getting pelted with items, but not going to complain. Uh, da, 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 da. At least it's not like the end of Tomb Raider 3. So, yeah, there's another route down here by the looks of it. But, 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 but. Is there any items up here? And what about the other area that we could have got up? Hmm. I wonder. Can we possibly jump up? Ooh, no. That does help if I, you know, kind of grab. Uh, well, run and grab. There we go. Right. So. Anything up here? Whoops. Oh, uh, whoops. That's okay. Why has it gone so quiet? I've got to say, I love the music and, like, the sound effects and everything. They're so much better than the other games. Already. I'm impressed. From what I know, this game has a new composer. Uh, Nathan McCree only did the first three games, so I'm assuming this game got a new composer. And so far, I am liking him a lot. I've only heard one of his pieces before, and it's actually a piece he did for Tomb Raider 3 that was unused. Kind of bizarre, really. Like, seems like they've rushed Tomb Raider 3 in a lot of different ways, and that being one of them. The soundtrack is kind of a bit all over the place. It's not very good, if you ask me. Uh, I mean, the, the little of it is great, but um, I didn't mean to do that. There is a genuine lack of soundtracks overall, isn't there? So, I don't think we can do anything here, and I think, like, the only thing we can do is literally just fall down and die. Because uh, otherwise I don't see anything. So let's just go through the lava room, I guess. Which is having lighting issues. Major lighting issues. Wait. Yeah, you're still not open. I thought you were for a moment, but clearly not. Anything in here? Mm, no, don't look like it. Alright, so down we go. Uh, what wonders will await us down here? I'm assuming this is looping back into the room that we were previously in, but, uh... Huh? Two routes. That one doesn't seem to lead to where we want it to, so I'm gonna go down here first, I think. But what's down there? A medipack, right. Let's take that and leave. Now, well that isn't all threatening, is it? Oh, look at the water, that's so cool. Look at it wobble. Um, that guy looks like he wants to murder me. 
Not happy about that. Looks like he's going to come alive and try and beat me up like the statues from the third game or the statues from the first game, should I say, the bloody centaurs in Egypt. Was it in Egypt? I'm pretty sure it certainly was. Could have been elsewhere. Uh, though I don't think there was anywhere like Egypt, actually, so I'm pretty certain it was Egypt. Centaurs in Egypt. Hmm. Weird. Right. Um, it's leading us to the other side of a grid. What grid is this, though? Two grids. Mm. I'm not certain I've been on the other side of these yet. Uh, what the flying fuck is that? Did someone order some anal beads, or... Uh... Ooh. Ooh. This could be a puzzle. Um. I am worried about what's going to happen here, so I'm going to stick to these ones because. I don't know. Oh, oh no, I didn't. I failed that miserably. And what was that? I keep seeing a little glowing in the bottom left of my screen, but I think it's because, um. Game's glitching out or something. So there's some kind of chalice in there. Uh, I don't see anything important. Anything up the corner of the room? That's all. Flare. Pop. I like that. Nothing here, nothing there, nothing anywhere by the looks of it. Never mind. I mean, this this room seems like it needs life or something. And why is there red mist up that corner? Assuming that's from the lava somewhere. Just coming through the wall for some reason. And, um. I'll assume that I have to go all the way back to where the guy was originally gonna go. Can we light torches? Oh, I just fell in there. Oh, look, the flare's stuck around. No, it hasn't. Not for long, anyway. So, back to wherever he went. Which was which way? This way? Yes, it was. Right. Right, so he's here. Oh. He's come to a halt. Uh, can I get over there? Maybe I can. No, I can't. Uh... Oh, right, this is just the grid that was on the other side of this room, so... Uh, how do I get him in here? I'm guessing I do have to go the other way, after all. Why Why didn't he just walk around it? Oh, that, that's right, I'm guessing just because of that hole there, he can't get round. That makes sense. So, there must be something in this room which triggers that to open. Uh, what would that be? Or I'd assume so anyway. Or maybe not. Huh. <sighs> I bet you know, don't you? Can I come up there with you? Can I come take a seat on your lap? Right, so it looks like it's back to this room. Okay. So that opens that door for him. And now... Uh... What, what, why the fuck is he turning everything to lava? Will you please stop that?